Well, it's night time again. Thankfully, I picked up those NVGs. Now we're in phase three. And what's phase three? The commander. Oh, right, yeah, we're supposed to go get that commander, aren't we? It's just done a serve for me. Oh, I need more facts because I used all of mine because I'm dumb. Oh. Well, we're under attack. Let's renegade commander forward from here. It's one down. Wait, are these friendlies? No, they're definitely not friendlies, are they? No, no, no. Alright. Oh, I see what's happening here. We're not the ones under attack. We've all just parked up in front of their base. But obviously because of the way the AI's targeting works, it looks like they're the ones that attacked us. There we go, that's another one down. Oh, these MVGs are fantastic. It's amazing what you can do when you can actually see the people you're supposed to be shooting at. Oh, I think I just saw a guy there. Alright, let's get a grenade over there. Deal with him. That's my teammate there. Oh no, the AI can see through these tents. This is going to be awful. Yep, I'm already getting shot. God damn it. Yeah, those tents... Uh, you can shoot straight through them, which of course means the AI can see through them as well. I've been killed through those things so many times. Pretty sure there was a guy on the left as well. And there's some more people on the right. Hopefully my grenade got most of them. I'm gonna bridge off left here so I don't have to go through the tents. Right, there's a guy right there. No, crouch. Thank you. Need to heal. There's another one over here. Where did he go? Yeah, look at that. Just spraying at us through the fucking tent. Oh my god. The waste of a magazine. Okay. That's a guy there. Come on, it's just a head. There we go. Should not have taken five tries to left click on someone's forehead, but apparently it does. I think that's clear down there, yeah, it's like a little mortar pit. Yeah, look at those guys lined up behind that tent, they were just shooting straight through the damn thing. It's a friendly there, right? Yep, okay. Seems like we're clear here for the time being. Alright, may as well just clear the rest of the camp out. See if there's anybody else hiding behind the see through tents. No, nope, all of those people look very dead. Quiet all back here. Some more tents as well. Of course. Alright, well. Let's get one of the old frag grenades over the top of this thing. Where is the guy? Let's get another frag grenade over. That's a rabbit. Ah, there I see him. And he's dead. Alright. Oh, he threw a grenade at me. It's a good job I moved. Still some gunfire coming from back over this way. I could see a guy there. Dead. Okay, well I've walked the entire base now. There is nobody here. Actually nobody here. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do about this. You know, I can't kill a commander who's not present. You know, it's it's a bit difficult to do that. If he's not here, what am I supposed to do about that? Maybe I'm just dumb and I'm missing something? But 
no, I've walked the whole base three times over, it feels like, and there's nobody here. This is the last part of the mission as well. Like, this is where it... where the zone cuts off. So there's nothing past this. I mean, I could walk out the other end of the camp and see if there's a fortification past that, but that's literally the last thing I can do. Okay, maybe he's through this way. Oh, fuck. Yep, there is a guy right there. Okay. Well, that was a nice bounce off that grenade. Um, probably would have been a good idea to have this marked out. So players could actually know to go this way, or at least funnel them this way, instead of making the base so open. <laughs> there, that was a very good bounce. Okay. Let's see what else we can find down here. There's a guy over that way. I've been doing good with the grenades today, so let's uh, give another one a try. Hey, yep, that's one guy down. Oh, they surrendered. Nah, yeah, it doesn't matter. He had a gun in his hand, and I'm the only one who saw that, so... Who cares? He did surrender, though. Maybe we would have gotten a different ending if I captured him, considering he surrendered. Doesn't matter, he's dead now, bullet in the brain. So is that it? Is that the end of the mission, maybe? What are we panning out to? There's usually something at the end of these missions in the last cutscene. To either tease the next one or show something else off. It's another one of those coffins that they had the flags over in the first cutscene. But no, I guess that was it. That was Renegade. Well, many thanks to Tomahawk as always for these amazing missions. Everything that I've used will be linked in the description. So there'll be a link to this mission down there. And there we go, there's the splash screen created by Tomahawk. There was another one that I've downloaded that was in my missions list, you may have saw that earlier. I'm going to play that one next as well, see how good that one is. But yeah, my only criticism of this mission would be... The fog with enemies at long range without giving you a scope to actually allow you to see that far in that visibility makes it a bit too problematic. So like if you just tried to push up normally you'd just get spread down by a ton of people that you would struggle to see because of the fog. But if you had a bit of zoom you would have been able to try and pick them out through the fog or if there was less fog you would have been able to see them at, like at regular range anywhere. But yeah, that's the only thing I've got to criticize about it. Tom Hawk makes really great missions, you should try it out for yourself.